We've added a lightweight system of organization to Task.txt called Stacks. Task.txt is a plain text to-do and note manager that adds little timers next to each of your tasks that lets you time your tasks and keeps you focused. So when you use Task.txt, you have a single stack of pages. And one of the nice things is whenever you've got a bunch of old to-dos and some are done and some aren't and it's just kind of stressing you out, you click the new page button and you have a fresh page. And it's good to do that frequently get rid of those old tasks, let you focus on your current work because the other tasks are always a click away. You can just click back, go back through your stack of pages, see those old tasks. And you don't need to think about where that page goes or what you name it. You just click new page. This is one of the really nice aspects of task TXT. But after you use it for a while, you start to crave more organization. And I was very resistant to add typical just folders or tagging or labels to task txt. I wanted to keep the organization system very streamlined so you don't lose that ability to quickly create a page and write something down without having to think about where it goes and what to name it because those are all just little barriers between you thinking of something and writing it down. And sometimes you might not even write something down because you think what app should I put this in? What should I name the file? What folder should the file go into? You don't want to have to think about all that. So what we did is we created this concept called stacks. So now in the sidebar, instead of seeing all the pages in Task.txt, you see all the stacks. And each stack is a stack of pages. So it's kind of like having multiple Task.txt's. Now you name the stacks because you create these infrequently. They kind of deserve names. And this creates loose categories of pages. So you can have one for work tasks. And then I like to have one for life tasks. And you can have one for whatever else you want. Another good one is maybe grocery lists. And each time you create a new grocery list, you create a new page within the grocery list stack. Remember, those pages don't have names and you don't need to think about where they go beyond being in the grocery stack. And you can switch to the correct stack very easily. You can choose it from the sidebar here or you can use the stack menu here. And the cool thing about the stack menu is that you can press Command K to quickly activate it and then immediately start typing to search through your list of stacks. So you can just type in a few letters from the name and using this fuzzy search algorithm, it'll quickly find it and you can jump to that stack. And if you know you wanna to go to a stack and immediately create a new page, you can option click it, or when you're using the menu, you can hit option enter. That'll switch to that stack and create a new page and you can just start typing immediately. And a lot of things fit into this kind of stack paradigm really nicely. For something like a workout log, it makes sense. It makes sense for things like blog posts. If you're authoring blog posts, you could write the drafts or write the posts in task TXT and make a new page for each post. Now this has taken task TXT for me from something I like to use while I work to something I rely on for all kinds of different stuff and I find myself using it for a lot more different kinds of things. I hope you will too. You can try it at tasktxt.com. You don't even need an account to test it out. You can make a free account to save your notes and you can get unlimited stacks and pages as a subscriber.